James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from thee. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises. Go down to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh HaKadash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in his last days. Great millstone, also known as GMS. The salutations to the most high men in four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's your brother, with Yum Yum from GMS Mississippi with the intrinsic topic going into resisting the devil you know? and as it says in the book of James 4 and 7 you know resist and he shall flee you know? and when you go into that word resist it means to oppose withstand or set oneself against so when you are presented with something and you are in opposition that means that you're facing it head on meaning that you're dealing with it battling with it you're going through it you know and satan as our adversary you know such as a roaring lion walking throughout the earth seeking whom he may devour and you have to resist the desires and certain uh, temptations of the flesh in order to fully resist satan and basically it sums it up is that you have to fight you know when you have satan plaguing plaguing your mind plaguing your thoughts you have to rebuke, resist, withstand, oppose, or simply resist the thoughts of your mind. You know, when you're going through particular things in life or individuals who you know Satan is just using them as a vessel to mess with you on a consistent and frequent basis, you have to use wisdom and resist Satan that he may flee from you. Whatever you give attention, you give your energy. What you don't give attention, you don't give your energy. So when you entertain Satan, you in Satan's playground, he's gonna have a ball. You think he's gonna ever let you go back home? No, he's gonna he's gonna play with you all the day long, as long as long as you allow. But through prayer and understanding what you're going through, you're able to not give Satan an easy fight to where he just fully consumes you, he fully overcomes you, you know? But you have to fight against those particular thoughts of your mind. You have to fight against different situations and scenarios that you go through. You have to fight against certain individuals who are not cooperating with you. You know, scripture says, can two walk together lest they be agreed? And the answer to that is no. And someone is, is, is being used as a vessel of righteousness, someone can be used as a vessel of unrighteousness. You know, you got a spirit within all people. Is there certain of those spirits are full of left-hand energy and certain of those are full of right-hand energy? You know, but at the end of the day, what you give your attention to, you give your energy. And one way to fight or resist Satan is to not entertain the garbage you know whether it's things people say things people do you know learning to have a sense of sp a spiritual and emotional maturity to where you know you can say okay a lot of things or you know as Jake would say all right well, mm -hmm. okay gotcha is there anything else what else you need you know and that's dealing with people when you're being played with the thoughts of your mind, you can't let those particular things fester and just kind of manifest themselves deeper and deeper and deeper inside of your thought patterns. You know, you got to rebuke that. What the hell I'm thinking about this for? Why the hell would that even come to my mind? You got to just call things what they are. Like, man, that was stupid. You know, you have to give your psychological understanding a, a, a rebuke sometime to... to to shaping it up, you know? You train your mind long enough, your, your mind uh, begins to develop and resist certain things that are not beneficial for it. But when you don't train it and you allow anything or anything to go, then what do you think is gonna happen? You will never develop enough mental strength. You won't have the mental capacity to be able to resist Satan when he instills inside of your mind these different thoughts that are not worthy of, 
uh, <laughs> compassion from the Lord, for lack of better words, a back of that of terms and phrases. You know, but that's what the particular subject matter is about, because it doesn't matter what you go through, you know, because through much adversity we shall enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Shai. But Satan tempted the Lord Himself. So how much of less value and stature we consider ourselves, you know, we're easy, easy picking for Satan in his eyes. Look at what he did to our forefather Job. He thought for surely Job would not resist him and curse the heavenly father. And he wasn't going to put him to death, but he knew if he cursed the heavenly father, the heavenly father was going to put him to death. And it would have been mission accomplished in his eyes. But he did what? He resisted Satan. Although uh, the plagues came upon him, he constantly prayed. And ultimately his spiritual strength had him overcome in the end to where he received double from what he lost. So the Heavenly Father has in store many blessings unto those that are able to fight against Satan and not be overcome with his craftiness. So just a quick hit, uh, in the book of James 4 and 7, till next time I say, Shalom.